Today is a global day of action against mass surveillance around the world. Every government, including our government, the United States government, is monitoring all digital communications. That means your cell phones, your emails, your text messages, your IAs, your Skype calls, your Snapchat. They have it. They're cataloging it. They're watching all of us to keep us safe. We have to ask ourselves, what are we willing to give up in order to be safe? Yeah, you gotta justify what you're saying. You know what? I don't have to justify it, sir. We're a little bit smarter than that. We're a little bit smarter than that. Uh, you know, well, uh, protesting and everything like I told him. You're just out here outside to talk to people. Yeah, you cannot take the pictures of us or the building because it's a private building. This is a public space. Just like but you're yeah. being filmed by these cameras, we we're allowed to film. Side. Citizens have every right to film. I'm sorry if you try to push it, you can yeah. call the police if you need to, but we know our right okay. to film and that's what we're going to say. Just like anybody else that film, that's in public, you don't need a license yeah, to no, vote. You need a permit. No, no, you don't, sir. Because this is a private institution. I, I understand. Yeah. We're, we're not filming your private institution. We're filming the public space. We're filming the public space. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Does that make you feel safe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, more safe. How safe? About it? And how do you feel about them violating your civil rights by watching you all Just the time? It's the same thing. You have the, the right to be private. I think they don't have the yourself. damn right to do that. Do you know they also, one, they go a step further, uh, uh, Edward Snowden, I don't know if you heard of the whistleblower who uh, uncovered all that shit. The NSA has been so, tapping so everybody's yeah, phone. Russia. Yeah, ta tapping everybody's phone, uh, everybody's computer, etc. I'm glad that you heard of that. What's your name, man? My name is Mr. Sam. All right, man. I'm Micah, man. Appreciate it, man. There's something you can do about it, though. Yes, there is call something. Your, you can call your congressman. Man. If you got internet access, go to HoustonFreeThinkers.com, yeah. man. There's a right form on, on there. Yeah. Right now, you can contact your congressman if you want to. Go to HoustonFreeThinkers.com. We're trying That's to get we are. people. We have all DHS. Hey, what'd you say? What'd you uh, screw surveillance! What do you think about this whole surveillance thing going on? I think it's actually kind of, kind of stupid because we have the same thing in, in, in Europe, in, in the country of England, and they have uh, surveillance cameras everywhere, and they don't help crime in anywhere at all. And there's been done a bunch of tests on them, and they don't they don't prevent crime or help solve crimes that has happened. So I don't think it'll make people safer. So. I think that there's something there's something behind the, the idea of putting cameras up, watching everybody, and it's not about safety. I agree. Thank you. In, in England, there's like 100 cameras for, for every one person. Sorry? In London, there's like 100 cameras for every one person. Hey, ma'am, you, you ever heard of Edward Snowden? You know about the, the NSA spying programs in the United States? Can I walk and talk with you? Yeah. Uh, I think the... The, the citizens have to stay free in their country and the government have to do all things possible to protect their citizens with, with all the right, but, uh, but the government also has to know that the citizens need some freedom and some privileges to, to enjoy in their country, you know. So he have to have, the government has, has to have some some role yeah. about their citizen and so there has to be a balance of yeah. freedom and privacy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hey. Y'all have a moment to talk at all, guys? Have, a moment to talk? Uh, hey, you. have you guys heard of Edward Snowden? What you, what's your name, man? My name's Calvin, bro. Calvin, I'm Derek. Hey, so, uh, nice to meet you, Derek. Today is a global day of action around the world where people are coming out to the streets talking and doing protests, passing out flyers to notify people about surveillance programs, not only the United States, but governments all around. Right, right, right. You know the name Edward Snowden? Snowden, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. the whistleblower yeah. on, uh, on the uh, so NSA. Because of him, we know that they
they have access to every email, phone call, Facebook message, Skype, Snapchat. They can remotely turn on the microphone on your phone. They can remotely turn on right. the speaker in your phone. Right. They can listen. And there's a number of programs that, that do this. And not only that, all those cameras were installed by the Department of Homeland Security. They were given to the, the city of Houston as a gift right after the red light cameras got kicked out. Okay. So we're here trying to talk to people. And there's an internet protest going on, a bunch of websites, people hitting the streets. So, you know, were you, you obviously you're aware of Edward Snowden. Uh, of you, course, yeah. Are you aware of these cameras from DHS? Yeah. What yeah. Do you, what do you think about that, man? Right, freedom man. versus security. What is it? Right. I, I like freedom myself. Freedom is better. A number of newspapers detailing programs that show that the United States and a bunch of other governments have programs that allow them to access all of your emails, really? cell phone calls. Wow. They can remotely turn on your the microphone on your cell phone. They can get all your Facebook messages, Snapchat, Skype calls. Wow. And it's from Microsoft, AT and T, Yahoo. Uh, all the companies are pre pretty much involved, and so he's been slowly releasing documents just showing how deep these programs are. You and me, even though we are citizens minding our own business, and we have our rights to privacy. I have the right to walk around these streets without being watched. Well, you know what, too? But think about it, it's up there in space, they, get, they have uh, they satellites have, watching they, everything. They do have satellites, everything. Oh, here. asked me if I wanted to warm up in the back seat of his car. Did he? What? Yeah. What? Do I look like I'm that kind of person? I don't know. No, you the don't. Picture is filming. Oh, let's make sure we get him on camera. You don't scare us, buddy. <laughs> He said, you want it. So what did that cop say to you? I asked him if I could borrow his hat because <laughs> I was cold, and he said, what? How would you like to warm up in the back seat of my car? All right. Which is kind of a... Uh, he wants you to warm up in the back seat of your fit, car. In, in his car. A fancy veiled reference to uh, me being arrested. Officer, officer, how do you feel about surveillance? I love it. You love it? Have you heard of Edward Snowden? You Have you heard of Edward Snowden? Have you heard of him? Yes, sir. That's why I'm out here. He in Russia right now, so I don't really worry about him. What do you think about the National Security Agency spying on all hey, digital communications? You believe in spying on American citizens? Did you, did you, did you, uh, sir, did you make an oath to the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment, sir. You're violating your oath to the Constitution, officer. You say you support the spying on American citizens. You're one of us. That includes you. You're being monitored. You're being spied on. You may think you're on their side, but it's time to wake up and come and join the human race, brother. Edward Snowden did us all a favor, and we're asking you guys to raise your own awareness. That's how you get rid of cops, microphones, and so in response to that, 7,500 different websites, including the ACLU, Electronic Frontier Foundation, have blacked out their sites with a banner that says, The Day We Fight Back. And made it easy for people to contact representatives through phone calls or emails okay. to do something about it yeah. or at the very least have conversations like this so okay. we're part of a group called the Houston Freethinkers the HoustonFreethinkers.com and we do things like this and we're just trying to educate our brothers and sisters out here to let them know that hey expand the dialogue you know if you if you value your privacy it's slowly eroding based on keeping us safe and just at the very least be aware when you're using those things that they have access to them yeah. and yeah. You know, whether you're doing anything wrong or not, they're sort of cataloging all our yeah, information yeah, yeah. indiscriminately, and it's a, yeah. it's a danger to our privacy, so. Yeah. Thank thanks you. for y'all's cool. time. I'm Derek. Yeah, cheers. Thanks, man. Hey, y'all have a great day. Yeah, thank you. my lawmaker, so okay. thank you. Awesome. Thank you, man. thank you very much. They, they I, I don't think they barely started. Oh no! no. But we just but we just found out about it. Like yeah. it, I mean, for a little while we were just like you know maybe they are. I so. But I mean the people who think they're doing it, oh they're just crazy. But now yeah. we know. So now no we privacy. know. No. Nope. Privacy but you can do something about it. You know the uh, the TSA, the the uh, airport security. Uh -huh. They're gonna put them down here in Houston in the subways and stuff. We kicked them out. Because we can look we can look after ourselves. We don't need anyone else looking at us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, do your research, man. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing, and we just want to just help spread awareness because it's, it's basically they want they they're trying to push the idea that we they should sacrifice our privacy. For, that's true. Like, for this, yeah, to keep us you safe, you know. And what are you? What are your thoughts on freedom and privacy? I I I believe my privacy. If I would want that out, I would I would. Tell, yeah. You know, saying 
I think it's. I think you're doing a good thing. I like that. Well, I appreciate it. So yeah. what do I look, go on to look about go, this? Go to the HoustonFreeThinkers.com. Okay. HoustonFreeThinkers.com, and there will be a banner on the website, and it shows you like if you want to contact your representative, email, phone call, or just learn more about it. Tell okay. your affairs and family. At the very least, next time you're using those messages, be aware that they have access to, to everything. Yeah. Every digital communication. Okay. Thank you. Look you up, guys. Look more about Edward Snowden. But if you go Edward to the website, Snowden. you'll see all the information. Okay. Because it's another example. Thank you. You're welcome. It's why we on the front lines and we keep up in the trenches when they speak into the